how to make character grow with a button click in Roblox Studio. Hello, I am Code Godzilla. And I'm making educational videos on Roblox Studio. As you know, you can earn a lot of Robux on Roblox. And this video will take you to the next level. So make sure you watch the entire video. I have amazing subscribers who are very active and they are developing cool Roblox games. They have great questions. For example, can you help me create a script that increases the player's size in Roblox using a button? And if you, yes you, who are watching the video right now have any questions, make sure you leave a comment. The video is divided into three sections to make it easier for you to watch and understand. As the first step, we have to create the button. I expect you to know how to create buttons. So I'm not going into details. On the properties view, you can change the attributes of the button. So here I am designing it slightly. I'm adding UI corner. That is really cool new feature. And finally, I rename it. You can also use image button like I'm doing here in my boxing game. If you want to try it out, link in the description. When the user clicks on the button, we want to invoke a script. For that, let's create a local script. Let's rename a few files so that we understand what is inside of our files. It's very important to name the files so that you understand the content of the script simply from the name. Let's get the button instance. For that, we can use script parent. And now let's add activated event listener. And for that, we just get activated property and add connect function. And now here we test it and we can see it, it prints it out nicely. We cannot change the character size on the client side. We have to do it on the server side. And for that, we have to create a remote event. A remote event is used for sending messages from client to the server and from server to client. So we create a remote event inside of replicated storage and we create a server script inside of server script services. This is the server script. Let's get access to the replicated storage because the remote event is located there. Always read the official documentation because it's very hard to remember the function names and variables. So here we are using on server event attribute and this has a connect function. So basically we add an event listener here. So this is the server side script and we print out when it receives the message. So this one now is a client script. This is the button script that we implemented before. Here we also have to get access to the replicated storage because the remote event is located inside there. And now we have the event and all we have to do is we have to invoke the event. Let's send some data to the server side. And now finally, let's test it out. And you can see in the console, it prints it out nicely on client and on the server side. By the way, you can find the source code on GitHub. Going to this URL, CodeCutzilla Roblox Studio Game Examples. Here we have a list of games and also we have the how to grow character with a button. Inside of here we have two scripts and also the source code of the game. So you can download it and try it out in your game. You can find the link in the video's description. Let's get back into the video. The character size must be changed on the server side. We cannot do it on a client side. So this is the server side script. Here I am writing to do comment and I'm going to use my artificial intelligence plugin. You also have access to the plugin. 
You can find the plugin in Roblox Studio using the toolbox feature. Simply search for AI plugin. There are a few options and one of them is mine. AI Assistant by Goat Godzilla. Simply install it, set up it and use it. Let's get back into video. So let's write the comment, let's highlight the code, let's create the job and let's click run. Let's see what happens. And we can see there is a nice attribute called body height scale. Humanoid has this attribute. So let's just adjust the lines here nicely so that it, it fits here. All right, let's remove the old code and let's click on the button. As you can see, the height of the humanoid changes, but it is very ugly. So let's make few more changes. Let's make it so that it does not only change the height of the character, but it also changes the depth, the width, etc. I write here a comment again. We will highlight it and we will run the job. And as we can see, it returned us more attributes, even including head scale. Let's adjust the code a bit. So it, every time when you write the code, make sure the code is readable. The lines are too long here. So let's make the lines shorter. As you can see, we have lots of duplication here. So perhaps the GTP4 can make it shorter. Let's see what happens. And we can see that G GTP4 made a new variable called a humanoid. And this way, the lines are a lot shorter. And finally, let's test it out and we can see the result. Please like and subscribe because it helps a lot.